Right, we're going on a bit of an adventure. We're in Norway, and this is thanks to one of our Norwegian members, and I know I'm not going to get the name right, so many apologies in advance. It's Oidvid or Eidvid, I think it the way it might be pronounced, but uh, anyway, our friend from Norway, I think it's safer that way, our friend from Norway went on a trip by car, and I think he did this in the day, from Stravanger here, and he went up north, coming across all this beautiful countryside, until he reached Lom up in here, point B. And what our from friend from Norway wanted to do was to have a map like this in Pro Show Producer, and have the lines coming through as he sort of made his trip to be part of an intro or title slide, something like that. Now I had a look at it, so this is the map he actually sent me and you can see using a solid line that the disadvantage is it goes through road numbers and it goes through place names and I thought is there an alternative? So I came up with a little bit of an idea. Now we're actually going to use the grid on this map to help us out because we're going to produce a brush, not just any brush, this is going to be an arrow brush. Right, coming across, we're going to put in a new empty layer to start off with. Coming over, we're going to pick up the polygonal lasso. We're going to come in, I'm going to click down, putting it in, there it is there, and dragging it out. You can see there's our polygonal lasso coming out. Coming down to the bottom grid line there, just open one of the grid patterns and that can help you out there. Something like that looks pretty good. That's if you don't have a handy map lying around. Coming in, clicking into that area, and I've not come deliberately, I've not joined up the line there because I want it to be very much a wedge shape. Right, we're going to fill this with black. Now it's easy just to pick up the paint bucket tool. Coming across, we've got black as our foreground colour, dropping it in there. Control or Command D to deselect. Next, we need to duplicate this layer, which is Command J. Control J will duplicate the layer. Edit. Dropping down to transform, we're going to drop down again to flip horizontal. And you can see it's now moved into place. If you press the control or the command key, you can see the way the cursor changes to the move tool. Just moving this out until it matches up something like that would be pretty good. And there is our arrow. Right, using command or control E is going to merge it down. And I'm going to switch off the background layer. That's the arrow that I'm after. To do this as a brush, we just simply need to go to Edit, then dropping down to Define Brush Preset. Click on that. It's going to ask us for a name. Now it's taken the title name here of the image, and we're just going to call this Arrow, because that's what it is. Right, Enter or Return to apply it, and there it is, job done. We can now delete this, it has done its bit, and we're still going to put in a new empty layer because we're going to be using our brush in just a second. Now, rather than going from this one to this one as we find our way through, what you can do is if we just pop up to this little icon here, this is the Arrange Documents. If we click on this, drop it down so we got the 2x2 two two, so we can now see exactly what we're doing. Don't forget, when this is highlighted, this is the live one. When this is sort of greyed out, this is the sort of the, the ones there until you click on it that becomes the live one so this is the way we're going to work right zooming in let's come in to stay that area like this and we're going to do the same on this zooming in to that area that's better got it right this time in we go job done coming across we're going to pick up our brush going to right click and as I right click we're going to shoot down to the bottom and there it is there is our arrow brush now when I click on it you can see it is rather big. It's very big, in fact. So we're going to drop it down in size to something like... Uh, let's just take a look. That there looks pretty good. Yep, perhaps just a little bit smaller. That should be brilliant like that. Pressing Enter or Return just to remove that panel. Now, I don't think black is going to be a particularly good colour. So we're going to change the colour by clicking in there. Let's go for a vivid red. Click in and coming into our vivid red there and click OK. Don't forget we're working to the new empty layer. Right, this was our starting point and we came across from here to there and it's all we need to do is just click down and as we just click down we can come across and you can see we can leave the name of that sea in there or that sort of uh, inland part. Cross the ferry, round we go up and in 300 yards, turn right turn right. Thank you. Right, we've done that bit. Right, we come 
like this so we're coming through and just clicking making sure and this is what I, I thought with this one it's just a great way to be able to leave in the road numbers and the place names as we come through and just put in another little arrow in there until we come up to let's just come across to our other map click down drag it around to we come to this part let's go up as far as Voss I think and just clicking down and bringing this up there that's yeah I know you can match them up but uh, we're just gonna quickly come through get two in like that the other thing with this is because we're using oh look putting our foot down there must be a bit of dual carriageway round the corner on this one and by the look of it I would think let's we can pop this in out of the way it looks like they went to Bitfjord there so it looks like we need to come across and just click on the map like that then come back and now come across like this I've got a feeling judging by the way that's been drawn in that that's what they did right let's come up to Voss and just put in a space there the ideal part with this is you can actually for example these two here are rather close together what you can do is you can pick up the eraser tool and you can actually choose to sort of erase some as well so if you think some are just a little bit close or you don't need that many you can always come in and you can erase one or two you know uh, for example it looks a little bit unevenly spaced so there's nothing stopping you just picking up the eraser tool erasing those now let's pick up the uh, brush by just pressing B again now coming through and just spacing that out a little bit more like that that looks better right coming through we went from Voss we didn't but I suppose we can pretend we did right a Voss turn right right coming through until we come up to this area here moving down clicking on this map moving down again and coming through and just lining it up so I can see where I am going there we can head up towards Ness I thought this was in Norway not Scotland. Right, coming through. <laughs> right, coming through. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, I'm coming up here through here. To say hi to Vic and pass Vic to that area there. Cross the water. When you cross the water, turn right. Turn right. Right, there we go. My impersonation of a Tom Tom sat nav as we come through like this. Oops, got a bare right. There's a sharp right hander there coming through and as we come up like this and just moving our way around nearly there I think yep there's Lom in sight don't need to move the others but uh, right just coming through like this and as I said you know the idea behind this was to actually leave the place names in check now that is our destination in 50 meters you have reached your destination right we've reached our destination you'll be pleased to hear great stuff right there we are let's just change this back now we've uh, done with our other map so we can come back to this one and there's something else I'd like to do I'd like want to give this just a little bit more definition you can see there it is with all the arrows going through there don't forget you can erase them so when they they look at you know perhaps a little bit cluttered in some part you can just pick up the eraser tool you can come through and you might want to sort of just drop one or two out or you know just press B on the keyboard it gives you the uh, the brush press E on the keyboard gives you the eraser tool and it will just allow you to sort of space them out a little bit more perhaps something like that would be pretty neat and there it is right to give them a little bit more definition how about a drop shadow now we're going to come down we're going to click on this we're going to go in the layer styles we're going to go for drop shadow and you can see there's the drop shadow come through and we can actually pull the drop shadow around to something in that area like that just increasing the size as well just to sort of fade it out you can see the way you can place it behind just gives them a little bit more definition while we're here how about bevel and emboss yeah that again just gives it that, that little bit more yeah, it makes it stand out looks pretty good we're going to click OK to this now I know what you're going to say because we're going to switch this off and we're going to save this as a PNG file now when you save this as a PNG file these don't come out but I've got a cunning plan. Always helps to have a cunning plan when you've got things like this. Put in a new empty layer. 
hold down Alt or Option, so holding down the Alt or the Option key, go into Layer, dropping down to Merge Visible. Now when I click on Merge Visible, that's going to bring it up, and there it is. So we've now merged the effect into this layer, we can actually click on this, I just need to press delete in CS5 to get rid of that, and there it is. We've still got the effect, but it's now just one layer. That will allow us to come through and to go to File, we can go to Save for Web and Devices, and we can come to this, and if I just, there it is, there's our arrows there with the drop shadow. Let's change this to PNG24. When it's gone to PNG24, I'm going to click Save, and I'm going to save it. Where am I going to save it? I'm going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to call this uh, cart. I've got a feeling that must be Norwegian for map. We're going to call it arrows. So that's saved that, and now we can come back to our map, which I've got a copy of, but that's our map. And in the next video, we're going to go into Pro Show Producer, where we're going to take a look at putting the whole thing together. So I hope you'll join me then.